My name is Jessica Burback and I am living in New York City and I am currently pursuing a professional MBA at the Gabelli School of Business at Fordham University in New York City. So prior to starting my MBA in fall of 2020, I was working in marketing and I've been working in marketing for several years um, in the healthcare industry and also in the retail industry. And at some point decided that I wanted to really plus up my skills in marketing. And so that's what decided, that's, that's when I decided to uh, go back and get my MBA. So I started my professional MBA at Fordham in fall of 2020. And so that was right kind of in the beginning of the pandemic, which was an interesting time to start school. But at that point leading up to that, I felt like I'd worked in marketing for several years and really wanted to um, expand and challenge myself as a marketer. So um, I was in, in a good place in my career. I had just moved to New York City and knew I was gonna stay for a couple years. So it felt like a really good time to pursue higher education. And I had always wanted to get my MBA um, to kind of make myself a more well-rounded marketer and just to increase my knowledge about business and um, and how business works. So um, I decided to apply to Fordham and started in fall 2020. I had heard about Gabelli um, through friends and through my New York network. And so when I came to the city, I started looking more into the school. And for me, Fordham was a great intersection of all the things I was looking for. A great brand name school, a great network for alumni and for students, and then also um, a great price because we, you know, Paying for our MBAs is always a pain point for, for all of us. So for me, Gabelli really checked all those boxes. And um, once I started at Gabelli, I really enjoyed my, have enjoyed my experience there and have gotten really involved in school. I'm now on student government um, and it's a great opportunity for me to give back uh, as a student to a school that's given me so much. My background is primarily in marketing. I've worked in marketing for several years. And I think the great thing about doing an MBA is that you get to challenge yourself with different types of classes that you wouldn't normally come across in, in a day-to-day -day basis. So for me, of course, one of the most challenging classes was accounting. Um, and you know some of the, the, the statistics classes that we've taken, those are also challenging because it brings me in contact with data and numbers and different concepts that I don't normally um, come into contact on a day-to-day -day basis in my day-to-day -day job. So for me, I think a, the great thing about an MBA is being able to take those classes that do take you out of your comfort zone and challenge you along the way so that you are learning about different parts of business. And so that really makes you a more well-rounded person. So I'm doing a professional MBA at Gabelli, which means I work full time nine to five during the day, and then I go to the class at night. And classes are usually 5.45 to 7.45 or eight to 10. So um, it, I know that sounds like a lot and it is, but um, it's very, very doable. Um, and for me, I decided to do a professional MBA because I currently work in marketing and I'm pursuing an MBA with a concentration in marketing. So I really wanted to plus up my skills while also working and, and um, being able to hone those skills that I'm learning in class on a daily basis. So that's why I chose to go back um, part-time so I can continue to work and then also apply what I'm learning in the classroom to, my, to what I'm doing in work. I think one of the biggest challenges of doing a professional MBA is time. And I know it sounds daunting being able to juggle work with school, but it's definitely doable. Um, so basically you'll take around, you know, one to two classes a semester. That's about, that's six credits. Um, and then you also work full time. So I think the key to success in a professional MBA is really time management. You really have to be good at blocking out your time. So you know you're gonna be working these days, um, and then you have homework and then you have group projects. You really need to block out your time and make sure that you're planning ahead. And to be honest with you, um, you still will have time for all the things that you love, friends, family, loved ones. You have definitely time for that, um, but you will just have to adjust your time schedule to fit everything in. I think the benefit of a part-time MBA is that all of your colleagues in your cohort, they've all been working for several years. So they have experiences in the industries that you may want to work in. So I think networking with 
this these group of individuals is very very valuable because they have the connections they have the experience and so it's a great opportunity to network with people who are in the industries and have connections in the industries that you want to go into so i think that's one of the biggest benefits of doing a professional mba is that you have those folks that you can network with that um, are more uh, experienced in their careers Professionally, I think my MBA experience has changed me in that I'm more conscious. I'm more conscious about business and the business world around me, and especially living in New York City, what's going on in the city and being really tapped into um, business as a kind of a larger idea within New York City and within the world. And I think when I read things in the news, I'm definitely more critical and understand more about kind of what the larger context is. Um, and then also professionally, I think I've become a much better public speaker. Um, I'm much better at networking as well, because an MBA is all about people you meet and making new connections and making new friends. So I think that's something that I've really grown and, and shown growth in. And then personally, um, I've made some of my best friends in my cohort and have really enjoyed my time at school, just meeting new people and having new experiences. And I highly suggest that anyone's thinking about an MBA to really invest in yourself and go for it. I think making the decision to go back to school is a really big one, especially getting an MBA. It's a lot of time, it's a lot of effort, it's a lot of money. Um, so I think making that decision is, is that's a really big one. Um, but I think investing in yourself is always worth it. It's always worthwhile to invest in yourself and to grow your skills and to believe in yourself and increase your education. So I encourage anyone who's thinking about getting an MBA, start your process now, start doing your research now. And so when you feel like you're ready, you've got all the information you need to make the right choice for you. And then I would also say to students, really take advantage of all the things that your school has to offer. Um, you're, this is probably getting your MBA. It's probably the last time you'll be in school. Um, so really just lean hard into being a student. Take advantage of the Career Center and take advantage of your advisor, meet your professors, um, get involved in school clubs, get involved in student government. Do everything that you possibly can to make your experience the best that you can because the more you put in, the more you'll get out.